Hi everyone, it's June and welcome back to my channel and today is a story time video. I felt like I needed to share with you. I don't know how the subject came up, maybe because I was in Maine and I saw my father who is really, he's not my bio father, he's my stepfather. So that and the reason why I'm saying that is because it has something to do with the story. Um, but I consider him my father because he has raised me since I was just a kid. But anyway, let's get back to what the title is about. Way back, way back in the 70s, in the mid 70s, I would say it would have to be the summer of 1976 and 1977. In between that time, we had a very crazy serial killer on the loose called the Son of Sam. And most of you will know who I am speaking about. Also known as the 44 caliber killer. Now, my mom was already with my, my father, my stepfather, and we were all living together. And so being that this whole thing with the son of sam was happening i remember being outside it was happening in brooklyn all over um i believe new york like the tri-state area uh we were told i remember the news we were told that like to stay indoors because we never knew when he would attack he was attacking couples and he actually attacked somebody i know very very well her best friend but she was an adult um Stacy Moskowitz, who is from Brooklyn. So it hit very, very close to home. So we were told to stay indoors. Anyway, the next morning we wake up and my aunt was over or we were, I think we were living like in the same kind of like, I think it's a two family house, but somehow we were downstairs in my Aunt Marie's apartment. And my stepfather was, he was working and I remember my hand picking up the newspaper and I see the front page and I see this sketch right here. I literally could have died right there. I see my aunt's face and my, I remember my aunt turning the, the newspaper around to my mom and saying, does that look like George? And my mother was like, oh yeah, but they knew that wasn't him, but do they really know? I mean, I mean, crazier things have happened in life, right? Where you don't know that your husband or, or somebody, somebody so close to you can actually be a serial killer. So I heard that and now I was just freaking out. I'm sorry about that noise, freaking out. So I go into my room and I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, we're living with a serial killer. We're living with the son of Sam. I was flipping out. I remember myself shaking. I remember going under the covers and I remember coming home and I remember him telling us, like if we wanted to go outside and play, I remember him actually saying to us, don't go outside and play. You know the son of Sam is around. We don't know where he's striking next. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm living with the son of Sam. Okay? So, I mean, if you saw that sketch, here's a sketch again. And here is my father's picture. Tell me you would not have thought that your father was the son of Sam. I thought I was being stuck in the house with the son of Sam. That's how crazy it was. But David Berkowitz, AKA Son of Sam, AKA 44 caliber killer was caught. And that's when I began my love for my father because <laughs> he was not the Son of Sam. <sighs> but I always think about that every now and then when something comes up on TV about David Berkowitz, I always think about that time. And I always say to myself, I'm going to make a story time about that. And I never did, but now I did. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it could have been worse, right? He could have been the son of Sam, but he's not. He's my father and I love him so much. So I hope you enjoyed this quick story time. I thought it was a pretty crazy story time. And um, that's it. And I'll see you guys in my next video, okay? Bye.